Welcome to Do The Talk Podcast. This is your real estate podcast where we talk about how to invest in real estate. Our goal is to make real estate investments seamless as much as possible. If you are looking to invest in real estate, you have come to the right place. Uh, my name is Hamed Lawal and my co-host today is Ibrahim Ojerinde. How are you doing, Ibrahim? I'm doing well. Thank you. Um, Guys, this is uh, a new episode, a new version of uh, Do The Talk podcast. We have been doing this uh, for over a year now, and we've been doing live. um, And so we are trying to make it more uh, attractive, make it more um, looking, you know, professional. Um, We have been dishing out this great content, and we appreciate everyone for always tuning in. Uh, We want to let you know that we are committed, and uh, of course, you can see the uh, the change and we are trying to upgrade as much as we can so that we can keep the same content, the same value at the same time, give you a more clear, bright and elegant uh, video. Um, I mean, we always say this, uh, do the talk, I do the talk. We are not trying to sell you information on, uh, or, you know, a deceitful information. Real estate, it is not a get quick, get quick, uh, scheme uh, game. It is a long term uh, investment, and we've always been saying this. So, we are not coming here to deceive anyone. Please stay with us. We do the talk. We will give you all the necessary information so you can become financially independent. Today, we are going to be looking at a topic that is very critical, very essential to a financial uh, growth. Um, and it's nothing but mindset okay i'm gonna repeat that mindset because there's nothing you can do in this life without having the proper mindset you are 100 percent going to fail i repeat you are going to fail if you don't have a right mindset in anything you do in this life so ahmed this is a huge topic and yeah. i want to see how we can start by you know really defining what a mindset is and you know and let's get started from there. What is mindset, please? Yes, so uh, mindset is basically uh, your internal, how you perceive yourself and your environment. You know, uh, mindset uh, can be a huge factor in, you know, contributing to how you respond to adversity, how you perceive success, how you see challenges and things like that. So really, mindset is really divided into two. Uh, we have, you know, people with fixed mindset, and we have people with growth mindset. Uh, the fixed mindset is basically you thinking everything that happens is out of your control. I can't do this. You blaming others for your response. Uh, what you're responsible for, uh, making bad choices, and oh, I can't do this, uh, this is too hard, uh, when am I going to make money off of this, things like that is really negative, and you are in a very box mindset, which is fixed mindset. Uh, a growth mindset is you see adversity and you ask yourself, how, how do I get here and how can I get out of it? So you are basically looking for a way out instead of boxing out like, oh, what am I going to do? Uh, my health, my you, you don't panic. You just see, okay, maybe I made a wrong choice here. Okay, what can I do to get out of it? Okay, how can I get to the other side? And taking responsibility, taking ownership of your life a lot of time comes with growth mindset. So, uh, but I don't want to be you know, sounding like a psychologist or anything like that. Uh, Today is going to be about basic mindset Mm -hmm. that people have with real estate, Mm -hmm. fixed or growth. Ibrahim, what do you think uh, when it comes to fixed mindset, when it comes to people being, uh, you know, panicking and doing all that in in real estate investing, what are the fixed mindset issues that you think people run into when it comes to real estate? Thank you. That's that's a uh, an interesting question. So there are a lot of um, you know mindset is a broad term that we used for um, some factors that people um, kind of 
preset in their mind because they, based on their perception towards uh, a particular, you know, investment or uh, idea or, um, you know, venture. Um, so the fixed one, and which is the common one that I see, is that people automatically, automatically believe that real estate investment is for rich people. Hmm. It's, 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 it's something that, you know, if you are not having a lot of bags every week or every two weeks, um, you cannot invest in real estate. Or if you don't have that history of like your, you know, your dad is a contractor, uh, your uncle is a, you know, plumber or an electrician, there's nothing you can do in real estate investment or to get into real estate investment because it's just going to be, um, you know, a, a kind of arena that won't work for you just because you don't have that resources. But what they don't understand is that the resources, it's really, it will start from you and you are the one that will engineer or, uh, or, or, um, you know, gather all the resources that you need to, uh, to be financially independent in real estate. So, then another big one is that people already have that, uh, I should say pessimism. Like people kind of like see the bad side of something before even getting close to it or before even experiencing it. You know, we have this common, uh, believe that because James, you know, experienced bad tenant, it means every tenants are bad out there or every people that comes to your property to you know get your property are bad you know so because of that they are looking at the negative aspect or the 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 the, the, the cons of real estate investment to uh to generalize and say okay i cannot invest in real estate because of this and that you know um which you and i know that the pros which is the good part of real estate investment, the undeniably um, 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 benefit of real estate investment is way too huge to even even focus on the negative side of it because the negative side of it is just like a like a drop in in you know in in the whole thing the 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 the, the benefit is so huge, so what am I saying here? The first one is a wrong belief that okay. You have to be rich. You have to be wealthy to get into real estate. The second one is being pessimistic, thinking about something that has not even happened, believing that it's going to happen to you when you are investing in real estate. The third one is having the mentality that w when you are investing, you have to get rich right now. You know, people want, they don't have that, delay gratification they want now gratification like instant gratification you know and instant gratification is a big disease i call it disease i mean it's not medical but i call it disease because it's very common these days people would rather invest in something now you know and just get the benefit now and that's it when you tell them that hey when you invest in this you get the benefit gradually and it multiply it compound yeah. you know you see a lot of people shift away from that idea or that venture or that uh, business uh, strategy just because they want it now. Um, but but them having that mentality, of course, it's what keeping a lot of people out of real estate investment because we know it is not a get-rich-quick scheme. Okay. Yeah. So um, the fourth one I'll talk about is that people uh, tend to not seek knowledge, you know, because when, when you don't know about something, you have to reach out to people that know about it. That way, that person can guide you and, you know, show you the way. Um, there are a lot of reasons why people don't seek knowledge. Some people, because of ego, you know, that's a big one. I mean, um, the truth has to be told. Because of the society that we live in, everyone wants to be this guy that is okay i'm i'm okay i'm wealthy or i'm i'm doing well even though they are wearing that not they're not actually wealthy of course you know that it's just representation like okay let me represent you know this looking guy this you know okay and middle class guy of course um you know real wealth does not show up that way like when you are really wealthy you the, the way you 
you don't have to show by putting on you know expensive clothes and all that and big car and it, what you have in your asset like the asset you have the 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 the, the wealth that you have built up is what will really um speak for you not the designer or the dress you put on so of course there are a lot of or there are a lot of other factors or other aspects that we might touch on uh on, on this podcast but i will i would like to stop for now and let me you know get it back to you and see how you uh what you think about mindset because this is a very big topic and when we dissect it from here to the other we'll see that i mean our audience will realize that it's very big and it's a big problem especially in real estate investment so ahmed um i mean i've talked about pessimistic i've talked about um the the normal belief that real estate is for rich people i've talked about ego like people not seeking you know information and learning um i've talked about uh people uh what's the fourth one i talked about um like uh when 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 people are actually want something now yeah and... they don't have the, that delayed gratification yes. they want instant reward yes. okay so i mean of course i know you have some other f- things you believe that is causing this setback in our society um what are the other things that you think is a big problem that is preventing people from getting into real estate investment? Uh, so uh, for me, I I, I think you, the, the big ones you already mentioned, it, uh, yeah. and thank you for sharing that. It's very huge. Uh, yeah. Like we, we both know that anything you want to do in life, if you don't, you don't have the right mindset, uh, it's just wrong. But for me, I think it's uh, association, okay. people around us, okay. you know. Um, there is a study from Preston that shows that if you, even at a place of work, if you sit next to a performer, someone that is 10 over 10, that increase your chance of being a performer by 15%. Wow, okay. If you sit next to a non-performer employee, at your place of work, it will decrease your chance of being a performer by 30%. Ooh, now, that's let, <laughs> let's put that into perspective. Let's say I'm making 100000 a year. Just by being in the group of people that make more than me or that will make uh, you know, about the same money, that's, that means next year I have 15% chance of making that same amount or more. Okay, now, if I sit next to people that are making lesser than me, I, if, if, I'm, if all my friends are making lesser than me, I am the big dog among them, that means next year I have the chance of 30% chance of making 30 lesser than, 30% lesser than what I'm making right now, which is if I'm making 100,000, that will put me at 70,000. 70, so uh, what, what am I trying to point out is, you need to look for people that are on the same path as you. Yes. Go yes. To, we always we've always talked about this. Go to meetups, uh, go to seminar, they talk about investment, especially real estate. Because a lot of investment, like you've mentioned, is get rich quick scheme. Like yes. oh, join Amazon FBA, join mm-hmm. crypto, join. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying anything bad about those investment mm-hmm. style. Yeah. The thing is you make huge money with delay gratification, something tangible, which is what real estate offers. Another thing that people are missing is real estate is the only investment that will give you money now and money in the future and also give you some soft money. What do I mean by soft money? You can. There's a lot of tax code that you can use to save yourself when the tax season comes in. Yeah. So real estate is the only investment vehicle that have that three. So if you even if you are looking for money now, it might not be as huge as what you want, but you're still gonna get it in real estate. Yeah. So uh, change, change your change your calculus. Talk to people that are on the same journey. If if you are going up high and someone is like comfortable where they are, find someone that wants to move with you. Find someone that wants so. That is really a big issue for me. It might not be, it might not look like mindset for, for other people, but it is. 
<laughs> because what they say, do you know, Ibrahim, when you share your goal with some of your friends, a lot of bad friends will feel threatened yeah. or they feel like you are being boastful. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, he, he, why is he always talking about his, his properties? Yeah. Why is he always talking about him making 5,000 yesterday? Mm -hmm. When he knows that I only make 5,000 a month, he's telling me he make 5,000 a day. So they look at you as, you, as if you are being boastful. Yeah. And when you perceive that, you tend not to talk about your goals around them anymore. Yeah. Which, if you want to be something, the very first thing you need to do is to believe it in your head. And the next thing is to be talking about it every night, morning, evening. You need to be talking about it because what you say, our word is very powerful. Whatever you say out of your mind, mouth, have 50% of coming to reality in, 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 in life, right? Mm -hmm. So, keeping close friends that are in, on, on the same journey or that are there already. So, that is very huge for me. Another one is going to be related, but in a different way. is finding someone that has done what you want to do mentorship whenever when, when i want to jump into real estate this is for me i had to pay that man, that same mentorship as of today cost fifteen thousand dollars to join that was not what i paid i paid way lesser than that back then but what, what am i saying is i found someone that resonates with me and has been there has done whatever i am dreaming of right now he has done it and guess what? That guy really provide everything I needed and he caught my learning curve short by years. Now I'm able to stand in front of you guys today, tell you what I've learned, what I've done, what I'm doing right now. As you, as you know, I, real estate is my bread and butter, you know. But that guy give, you know, lay the blocks, the foundation that I need to step on to get to where I am right now. And now I can now build on it and build my own path. What I, that really caught the journey short. So those two look the same. They go hand in hand, but they are different. And if you can even get those two done, every other thing will follow. Because we, we've all, we, we know that show me your friend and I will tell you who you are. That is one. Yeah. Also, your network determines your net worth mm -hmm. right so uh that is v the two biggest uh challenge that people face in my own opinion ibrahim what are the if you are to choose three top ways that you think uh the all the uh, mindsets challenges in real estate uh can be solved what will be your top three yes um the first one is I want to be practical as much as possible. So the first one will be people should not or should be very observant and not let any opportunity pass them by. And I'll, and I'll emphasize more on that. So what do I mean by that? I mean, you see, every environment or everything we do daily, we tend to not see opportunity around us just because our mind is not there or because we don't see we don't see any possibility of coming across opportunity while we are living or doing our daily lives you know uh but opportunity always come around us we just don't see it and I'll and I'll give you an example so before I give the example it could when I mean opportunity I mean anything but here I do the talk this is Real estate podcast. This is we are trying to teach you how to be financial independent through real estate, like through real estate, because we know it is proven, it's tangible, it's gonna happen if you focus on real estate. Yeah. I've said this before: take care of real estate, focus on it, be dedicated, be compassionate, work hard on it for ten years. Hmm. You'll be fine forever. Real estate will take care of you forever. Now, I deviate. Let me go to the main reason why I said, or let me expand on the, the reason why 
we cannot afford to let any opportunity pass us by. Personally, this is what I experienced. In 2020, I sold my house. Now, before I, I bought it 2016, okay? I bought it 97,500, okay? That was then. Of course, it's hard to find something like that these days. So I lived in that house for four years, okay? I, I you know, I got an e-lock, I think 2019, and I sold the home 2020, okay? E-lock of $18,000, and when I sold the home in 2020, I made a $89,000 non-taxable income just because in Indiana, if you stay in a home for two years or more, you have, if you are single, you have two, $250,000 non-taxable income that you can, it's a capital gain, but it's non-taxable because you stay there for two years or more. When you are married, it's 500000 so 89,000 is way below any of those. So any of the thresholds. So technically I did not have to pay any taxes. Okay. Now to me, that is an opportunity to see the power of real estate, to see how you can self-develop yourself and your family. That way you guys can get to that financial independence. The fact that I got 89,000 after I have I had uh, did the e-lock with me getting eighteen thousand from the e-lock. Still, I still got eighty nine thousand. So technically, without the e-lock, I would have gotten like over hundred one hundred and five or one hundred six thousand yeah. dollars. Okay, what does that tell you? It means real estate is proving itself to me. It showed me that this is the way to go. But a lot of people got into that situation or were into that, uh, were had that opportunity, but they did not utilize that. They did not see that opportunity, I should say. They'll sell their house, move forward, and live their life. It means they lost that opportunity because yeah. it showed you, it showed you that. Think about it this way. Let's say I did not buy the house. Definitely I'll pay rent yeah. for the entire four years. I'll pay rent. Okay, it means I'm paying rent, and when I move out and go to somewhere else, I don't, I won't get anything. Yeah. But I bought a home. I lived there. Okay, I lived there. Before I moved out, I withdrew eighteen thousand from the from the equity. Still, after that, I got eighty nine thousand. So the fact that I paid attention, I observed the whole opportunity, and I capitalized on it. Bro, I was able to scale from that and bought another property, another property, another property. You know, so here we are not here to tell you boast on what we have and all that. But I just have to say this for you guys to know that opportunity do come your way if you pay attention, if you observe, you 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 are ready to 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 scale up with any kind of opportunity, particularly real estate, because that is the way to go. You can never see. I, I don't know if there's there's any millionaire in this world that hasn't or plan or will be planning to buy real estate because for tax benefit is there for uh for generational wealth real estate is the biggest even the people look at mcdonald's yeah a lot of people think mcdonald's make money from sandwich or no it's the real estate mcdonald's make their huge money from real estate the fact that when you build a house, you are selling or making money from that house. Real estate, com, uh, real estate, uh, McDonald's property is considered commercial because they make money from that place, and mm. the the value is done by what you make every year in that property. Yeah. So they are able to refinance and cash out the money because now they will not evaluate the property like a single family. They evaluate it based on the income that they generate every month or every year. Yeah. So technically, that's where their money is coming from. Yeah. Look at JP Morgan, all those buildings and everything. They refinance those buildings because they make revenue from those buildings. And that is what uh, we, we are talking about here, the yeah. power of real estate. Yeah. Every year, you file your taxes and all that, and you can benefit from the tax code. So guys, do not let any opportunity pass you by. Uh, so... 
um, like I said, do not let opportunity pass you by. Um, please uh, be mindful of uh, the people around you. I mes uh, mentioned that earlier because it's very powerful. And, um, you know, I see another big problem, you know, people, you know, the educational system, the way we are programmed, you know, like, uh, when we go to school and, you know, this is the career we're going for and we just have that belief that, okay, if you are in that field, you are set and you are good to go, just keep working, get your 401k and, um, and you'll retire and, you know, you'll be fine. But the truth is we are not factoring, you know, inflation. We are not factoring emergency. We are not factoring, uh, you know, all that stuff that comes with, uh, with, a normal life. living, yeah. yeah, with life. Uh, not to mention when you are married, you yeah. know, the children, the, you know, the, the automobile bill, the insurance, the, you know, all these things come together and it's, it becomes a burden if you have not planned for them, you know. Mm. So that is why it is very, uh, you know, tactful to be, uh, to, to be open-minded and see how you can prepare for all this. And one thing I can guarantee you, real estate, if you invest in real estate, it's going to make you, uh, you know, above or get you to, to, to be able to stand any inflation, any uh, unnecessary expenses that might come your way just because you are getting cash flow, you're getting equity, you also have a tax benefit. Yeah. So these are all the tools that real estate investment will get you. Yeah. You know, I like the fact that my, you know, my assets are tangible. You know, I can go there, I can touch my property, I can increase the rent, yeah. you know, fairly. You know, yeah. we are not advocating for any, you know, bad practices or anything like that. Of course, you're a property manager, you yeah. know how that goes. Yeah. So, so, but what, what I'm saying here is that real estate gives you the power to, you know, to, you know, direct or to uh, self-manage your life just because you invest in all those investments at the end of the year, you're not running around and saying, oh, um, you know, you can, you own so so amount of taxes and that. As long as you have a good accountant or CPA, you're accountable to your spending, real estate will get you the best uh, tax, uh, you know, advantage. Like you, you're going to get a lot of write-off, you know, it, the loophole is just so massive with real estate. So that's why we're advocating that I have that mindset that you have to get into real estate. I, I don't see any other business that I can, you know, comfortably encourage someone to get into beside real estate. I might be a little biased, but it's because I'm feeling it. I see how it is. I'm passionate about it. I see the benefit. So I always tell people to go for real estate. Okay. Ahmed, you see, it is a big one when, you know, people say, okay, I'm good. I don't have to uh, do this. I just have to clock in, clock out and all that. I feel like it's still a, you know, a failure mindset or like a mindset that I accept what the, 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 the norms, you know, you know, because a lot of people, the, the large percentage of people in this country, we just get stuck with life and we just want to do what the employer or, uh, you know, our society uh, throw at us. But what we are saying here is how can people actually take what they throw at them, modify it, put it into real estate, use that, leverage as much as they can, and become financially independent. Yeah, um, thank you, Ibrahim, for all the uh, you know the uh, good um, education you've given to us thank so you. far. Um, so, li like you said, we we have been trained to to be to live our life in a certain way, and uh, that way is not meant for you to be rich. Just know that uh, if you want to take what you've been thrown at or thrown to you and mold it into something else, in real estate, I can tell you how. One, you need your time. Two, you need to educate yourself about real estate. So one, you need, you need time. Two, you need to educate yourself. And three, you need money. The money part is 
all the three pieces can be singled out. You need, if you have money, you don't have time or you don't have the knowledge, reach out to Ibrahim. He's a real estate agent. He will walk you through the process of buying the house. So, and okay, now you, you, you bought the house. You don't know how to manage it. I'm a property manager. I have tons of people that trust me with their houses. I make them money every month. So that is where you don't have an excuse for knowledge, right? Uh, okay, now I, I, I have the knowledge. I don't have the money all the time. Well, you have the knowledge. Bring value to someone that doesn't have, uh, that have, you know, money, time, and they don't have the knowledge. Collaborate with those people. So those three things can, whichever one you are lacking, you can definitely leverage on other people to get it. So uh, that is how you can start in real estate. But the big part of those three is education. If you talk to a lot of people, and this goes back to the mindset that we are talking about, Ibrahim. If you talk to a lot of people, they're going to tell you, oh, real estate investing is risky. Well, it can be risky if you don't know what you are doing. Anything can be risky if yeah. you don't know what you are doing. Anything. You can definitely burn down your house if you don't know how to operate your stove. Yeah. Or you turn up the gas at home and you just went to sleep or do something crazy and the house just go to flame. So that is if you don't... We, 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 are, we, we get complacent when it comes to... Uh, money investment. Uh, we get very, very complacent. We think that those things should come to us naturally. Just like Ibrahim mentioned, schools are not meant to teach you all this. They are not meant to get you your financial freedom. That comes back to you as a person taking ownership of your life. Schools are meant to make you a good employee, a good servant to the corporate world, not to yourself. So you can go get your degree, get a good job, and use, you know, live below your means and use the money you earn there, invest it in real estate. Ibrahim told us earlier, if you do that diligently for the next 10 years, that means you can retire age 40, age 35, age 45. You don't have to be 60 years old, just like the plans that the community already planned for us now to get retired, no. So these are the basic things that you need to do, but the biggest part is you educate yourself. That is huge. And you, you make sure you find a group of people. You can, there's so much activities right now going, or, uh, going on around us that we even just think they are normal thing. Go to seminar, go, 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 go to, go to um, meetups, real estate meetups, go to business meetups, go, go to places where people are thinking about how to be financially free. And you will see how much information is out there that just because you are not looking for it, just because you think now I have my master's in so, 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 so thing, I'm, I, I, I should be okay. No. It is not meant for you to be free. Your paycheck yeah. is not meant for you to be free. So, I I I Ibrahim, um, now we've discussed mindset, we've discussed some you know, possible way to tackle it. Uh, when it comes to real estate, yeah. people always say, oh, I, I will only be making $200 a month. Yeah. I will be only be making $300 a month. What do you have to say to that particular uh, people? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, so what I would say is that, um, so traditionally, yes, people make $200, $300 a month uh, because that is the uh, common and the traditional way of invest, investing in like, income or revenue from real estate just because uh, we are, Kind of used to the normal leasing which is i get my home to john and john is living in my home and he signed a contract of one or two years or three years whatever it is and he's gonna stay there and he'll be paying every month so all i'm making is after you know taking out the maintenance the uh, you know the repair fee and everything in fact some people make less than $300, okay? But that is the common stuff 
and you know before uh, the, 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 the innovation or the new um, exit strategy, we call it. So let me treat that for, first of all, even if you are making $300 or $200 a month, you have to look beyond that just $200 or, $100 or $300 a month. Because first of all, do not let any opportunity pass you by. I repeat, because it always come to you being observant, mm -hmm. you being uh, ready. You don't have to, have, when I say ready, I don't mean you necessarily have to have money. I mean you have to ready by doing what it takes mm. to get into that, uh, to, 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 to leverage on that opportunity, okay? Not everyone that you see own a home or own, you know, apartment building really pay from their, you know, from their pocket. No, there's always a way to get uh, real estate if you are ready to do what it takes to get it. What do I mean by that? You have to be able to talk to people. You have to be able to reach out to people that are doing it, especially people that are doing it in particular. You know, you want to get uh, get the necessary information so that you can also uh, be able to buy that that particular property. Okay, let's say you try that one, it doesn't work. It's okay, that's not the end of the world. It means you have tried, at least you've gathered some information yeah. that will help you to go to the next step, which is if another opportunity comes up, you'll be able to leverage on that because you tried, you have seen you know, what they need, what they are, you know, what it requires from you to get that property. A lot of people get stuck just because they try one deal, it, it doesn't, doesn't work, work for them, and yeah. they tell them you have to have this money or that money, then they stay back. Yeah. Who told you 100% you have to have money? Of course, money is good. Money can make it faster, but you can start without having money. Yeah. What about what are other resources that you have? Look inward. Okay, look in what there are other resources that you might tap into. Ahmed, I want you really to talk about how people can look in what and see what they can use to get started in real estate investment. Because we know the fact that you know people are not paying attention to the opportunity around them, the fact that they are scared of what what they what you know, like being thinking about the worst of what could happen even though they have not personally experienced it just because of their friends say that their cousin mother you know so what can you tell us about people looking inward and taking action please yeah so uh pretty much to be able to uh invest in real estate you need three things all right, so like I said, you need to look beyond that $300, uh, $200 a month because you have to look at other factors that are very crucial because it's one thing to invest and it's another to be able to keep that revenue. You know, you cannot just invest and all the money go to, you know, expenses, okay? With real estate, all these expenses can be deducted from your revenue and which in turn reduces your taxes. So what am I saying here? There are tax benefits, a loophole that is very massive in real estate compared to any other kind of investment you can think of. Real estate has the huge, the most, in fact, I, I, was, I would comfortably say real estate has the most uh, beneficial and the most uh, um, huge loopholes that you can use legally to decrease your taxes just because that is how it is created. Okay, the next one you want to think about the appreciation. You live in a home and the, oh, you're not living there, sorry. Y your investment property is appreciating every single day. Okay, it's appreciating every single day. So that alone is good. Okay, now you want to talk about how you can leverage on your equity. This is another thing that you are probably not able to do with other kind of investment. But with real estate, all the appreciation that your house is accruing or is building, uh, throughout the year even though you are not living there you're making money already you can leverage on that equity and use that to scale up okay you can leverage on that scale up and become you know financially independent by doing that repeat it's like you're repeating the same thing you know getting somebody paying your home and guess what if you look at it i want you to pay attention to this john is living in your home 
is paying the rent. Of course, you are making just $200, $300, okay? Because we are doing the normal leasing strategy, okay? And you are making that money. But guess what? John is paying down your debt because at the end of the day, no matter how long John lives in your house, it, the house belongs to you. So think about the tax benefit. Think, that, think about the appreciation. Think about that John is paying down your debt. Yeah. When you factor all these together, you are winning. Yeah. So don't worry about the $300 or $200. If that strategy is what works for you, keep doing it because it's beyond just that $200, $300 because the tax benefit alone is massive. Yeah. Now, um, quickly, I'm going to talk about this. I, I said about, I, I mentioned about the innovation or the new exit strategy, as you say. Yeah. So just so you know, we're not going to dive too much on it, but there's something called midterm leasing. It's also associated with temporary housing, you know, because you can do midterm with temporary housing. Another one is the short term. Of course, if I mention this, everybody will be aware of, I mean, you, you, it was sinking, which is Airbnb, VRBO, and uh, Booking.com. Those fall under short-term leasing. Like I said, we're not going to dwell too much on that today. But Ahmed, I want you to bring us home. Do you have anything you want to say about, you know, how to, what, what do you have to say before we wrap it up? So um, real estate investments, I think everybody should own real estate. There is this as a big popular pop artist, Snoop Dogg. He said, if you don't, if you don't own a land, you own nothing. Yeah. It's right. And uh, real estate give you the ownership, you know, it's, it's, the word real estate comes from royal estate. You owning yeah. land. That yeah. makes you a rich man in the holding days. Yeah. Right now, it still works the same. Uh, so think about it this way. Are you comfortable where you are right now? You know, you 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 the the sandwich you bought at, at McDonald's three years ago at five dollars is now nine hundred. Uh, it, it's now nine dollars. Yeah. So things is getting expensive. Mm -hmm. Do you think the job that you think you are okay with right now is going to be sufficient for you in the next five years? If your answer is yes, maybe you can keep doing what you're doing. Maybe you are making a whole lot of money right now. But if your answer is no, then you need to change your way. So now is the time. You know, the, the, the very best time is yesterday. Yeah. The next best time is now. It's today. Mm -hmm. So you have to start now thinking about how to use real estate strategically get mm -hmm. yourself out of the rat race yeah and uh acu property can help you in managing your property and if you want to reach out to us you can reach me on 765-240-7932 ibrahim if people want to reach out to ib realtors how can they do so yes i can help you beat down inflation of course you, you just mentioned something about you know sandwich you bought it five dollars before now it's nine dollars Real estate investment can help you beat down this inflation, you know, because when you're getting all those money, you know, technically all those cash flow, it's going to make you feel, you know, stay afloat yes. beyond any inflation. Okay. Yes. So if you reach out to me, I can help you get investment property, go to iberotos.us, you know, on Instagram, on TikTok, or you can call me 317 Anything concerning real estate, reach out to IB Realtors. Okay. All right, guys. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.